Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Something else that I wanted to talk about with you, Ant, is Keyshawn Johnson, who I was kind of surprised. Uh, Austin Mack, I thought, would be the guy that was removed, but it was Keyshawn Johnson. They did the vet a favor, and sure enough, he landed on another squad. Um, he got picked up by the Falcons, which this is a testament. Four players were claimed on waivers um, out of the first round of cuts. And for the 49ers to already have a player claimed, I just think there's going to be so many Niners players landing elsewhere. You know, we always want to stash them, and that's the plan and the hope. This team's just too damn deep. It's too deep, especially the Rams claimed a player. Did you see that? Like the Rams no, are claiming players, which is a testament kind of to they don't have a deep roster. They're they're top yeah. heavy, and so they got to cycle that back in. I don't know. I, I just thought it was interesting. We got players being claimed. They're claiming players. I don't know. I'm sure the Niners will claim a couple positions as well before it's all said and done. But I did think this was interesting. I, it, it just we're gonna have a lot of Niners picked up. Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, that's when you put together a 90 man roster like this. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of teams that are gonna want to pounce on these players because let's be honest, these players are better than a lot of their their players that they have currently on their roster. Uh, Keyshawn yeah. Johnson landing, especially in Atlanta, makes sense. Number one, he can help with the receivers, but uh, he's good on special teams, so he has a lot of value. I was a little surprised to see him go on first cuts, but uh, yeah. veterans going on first cuts makes sense so they can land somewhere else. Fournier did a good job of you know him, Denard, uh, even Kandiche, giving them a possibility to land somewhere else. Yeah, let them put out some good tape, and almost all of them did, and then allowing them to you know kind of move on – it's a testament, man. If you play for Kyle Shanahan, he's going to take care of you. It's a Shanahan loyalty project, right? Like he loves he loves players, and he's very loyal to them. And just because a 49ers player gets cut doesn't mean that's the end of the road for them here. You know, if you just look at players that have been cut that came back, uh, Jawan Jennings was cut. He came back. Colton McKivitz, he was cut and come back. Dwelly, I think, was cut three times. Hawkins been cut three times. He's currently cut. But um, he could come back as well. Like there's so – and I, I know I'm missing a lot more players, but – there is room um, to come back. It's never said and done with Shanahan. You agree? Yeah, I mean, Shanahan said he would even expect to see Denard back at some point if he wasn't on another team. So I think it does make sense. The Niners always uh, look to bring guys back, especially guys that they think can do well. But when it comes down to it, I mean, you have these this many guys. The cuts were going to be difficult. You have injuries at certain positions. Uh, so that makes, you know, just finding guys to cut. I mean, besides... Uh, Tomasi Lalele, I think it was, you know, everybody else was kind of like, oh, I'm surprised Hockett went already. I thought it would be a little bit down the road. But, um, I mean, in, in the end, they were all going to get released at some point. They just did it a little bit earlier than expected. Yeah, allow those younger guys to develop in the scheme. Allow the vets to go land a place. <laughs> 